Nicholas is a young artist who has come to a small French town to meet his idol. Marianne is his girlfriend, who loves photography and once worked as a writer. At first, Edward ignores the guests and does not appear at the table, which annoys Marianne. Soon the artist notices them in the garden and conducts a tour of the house and plot. Having discovered a beautiful place, Nicolas promises to paint a landscape. After that, guests go to the workshop, where they learn that the artist abandoned the brush 10 years ago without finishing the painting Charming Prankster. In the evening, after an attack of epilepsy, Porbus asks Edward to return to the painting, taking Marianne as a model. The artist and Nicholas agree without asking the girl. Marianne is shocked by their impudence and warns Nicholas that this act will destroy their relationship. The next morning, Marianne escapes from the hotel room while Nikolai continues to sleep and not guess anything. Going to the house of an elderly artist, a hot girl agrees to become a model and pose for a picture called Charming Prankster. Without delaying the start of work, the elderly artist and Marianne go to the workshop. A man is very nervous in the presence of a beautiful girl. He can't choose a chair and hides the rest of the paintings, as if he doesn't want anything to distract him. Picking through brushes and pencils, he struggles to concentrate on his work and begins to write. Since creating a picture is a complex and painstaking process, Edward starts with a few sketches. He lets the girl sit down on a chair nearby and makes the first sketch. It doesn't seem very successful, so the man dirties the drawing and creates another sketch. Continuing to work with the model, the artist asks her to get up and come closer. Marianne is not used to working in this format, as Nicholas is a photographer, and one picture is enough for him to draw a masterpiece. Eduard is a representative of the old school of artists, and he needs a lively nature to convey all the emotions after several more or less successful sketches. Edward asks the girl to change clothes and put on an attractive nightgown that can emphasize her shape. Marianne obediently goes behind the screen, and returns in a dressing gown, embarrassed to show her figure. When the man insists on his own, the girl throws off her robe, and it turns out that she is not wearing a negligee. The old artist is confused by the forms of the nude beauty, but concentrates on his work. Meanwhile, Nicholas comes to the artist's wife to talk with her and learn about Edward's creative path. The young artist is jealous of Marianne for an elderly man, but Liz calms him down since her husband is not capable of betrayal, so Nicholas has nothing to worry about. In a private conversation, the former model admits that she has feelings for Edward from the first time, but over time, he stopped drawing her and fell into a creative crisis that lasted more than a decade. The artist finishes the sketches and lets the girl change her clothes as they have finished their work for today. After looking at the sketches, the model is disappointed. She believes that Edward is too old and pathetic an artist. The girl decides to leave the house forever, but Liz stops her and asks her to believe in Edward. Marianne deliberately angers Nicholas by claiming that she likes working with Edward and sees great potential in the old artist. But the young model is not bothered at all. The next morning, she returns to the older man's studio to continue posing. Edward helps her take off her robe and jewelry so that nothing interferes with the girl's natural beauty. Putting her uncomfortable poses, the artist continues to make sketches, but no longer in a notebook, but on a huge canvas, which allows you to reflect more details. Marianne is uncomfortable in some positions and complains of neck pain, but Edward doesn't care. The artist orders the girl to obey and puts her in the most unusual poses. An elderly man draws every line of her figure very carefully trying to convey all the perfectness of Marianne. The girl cannot stand high loads and wants to rest at least a little or take a break for a smoke break, but Edward does not allow her to relax, continuing to put the girl in less comfortable poses. Marianne's every move turns into a scandal, but in the end, she submits to the artist, realizing that only in agony can an expensive masterpiece appear. In the course of his work, Edward talks about his wife and his relationship with her. Before Liz, He'd had hundreds of girlfriends, and each one had ended up in his bed, but now he was too old to try to attract into a bed Marianne. While Edward is increasingly interested in the picture and the body of a young model, the elderly man decides not to give up and picks up the brush again, diligently creating color sketches for the future picture. At some point, Marianne loses her sanity and openly laughs at the elderly artist. The man takes this as an attempt to humiliate him and goes outside without saying a word. After Edward leaves, Marianne looks at his paintings and admires the shapes of other models. Very tired, the girl lies down on the sofa and immediately falls asleep. Sometime later, Edward asks her to wake up and go back to work. A few days later, Edward makes new color sketches and after a couple of moves, he stops. He loses faith in himself, but Marianne reassures the artist again and offers to continue tomorrow. Nicola communicates with Liz and finds support in a difficult relationship with the model who increasingly avoids meeting him. 
the girl goes home alone. In the evening, Edward and Liz also quarrel because working on the picture poisons their feelings. The woman believes that her husband uses a young beauty, but he is sure that with her help, he can return his feelings for art. The next morning, Marianne arrives at the workshop too early. This time, Marianne does not obey the artist, but decides to choose the place and pose for the future picture. The girl sits in the center of the room and talks about her orphan childhood in the shelter. Having taken the position in which she was crying, Marianne arouses the interest of Edward, who noticed something bad in this. Grabbing the brush, the man finds inspiration and begins to create a new sketch. Forbus arrives at Edouard's house and meets up with Liz. As it turned out, before her marriage, Liz met with Porbus, but betrayed him by going to an artist. Meanwhile, Edouard and Marianne are drinking and enjoying their creative success. They manage to find the perfect pose and muse to create a masterpiece. Wanting to make the first sketch of a future painting, Edouard searches for a canvas, but does not find a snow white surface. Having no choice, the artist decides to sacrifice the unfinished portrait of his wife, which disappoints Mariani. In the evening, Marianne spends the night in the artist's house and takes an empty bedroom. Liz decides to give her a necklace with a pendant, but the girl is annoyed by this, and Edward can't sleep. Going to the workshop, the man draws until the morning and creates a sketch of the future masterpiece. In the morning, Liz notices her husband's absence and goes to the workshop. After learning that Edward used her portrait as a draft, the woman is upset and returns to the house. When the artist wakes up, he notices his wife's footprint on the canvas and realizes that she was here. He apologizes for his actions and asks for forgiveness, but the couple still fights. Creating a masterpiece completely ruined their relationship, and now it seems that these are completely strangers. A little later, Edward and Marianne continue to work on the picture, completely distancing themselves from Liz and Nicholas. They are not interested in feelings and passion because they live by creativity. In communication with Julienne, Liz admits that the painting changed Marianne and the artist, so Nicolas should find another girl. Some time later, Edouard finishes the masterpiece, born as a result of disputes with Marianne. The girl sees the finished work and, without saying a word, runs away. She becomes depressed and avoids communicating with Liz, as on the canvas she turned out to be empty, cold, and callous. At night, Liz goes to the studio to look at the painting and puts a black cross on it. Julianne tries to talk to Marianne and asks her to return to her brother, but the girl no longer feels feelings and does not want a relationship. Edward decides to wall up the painting inside the wall of his studio and asks his daughter to help him with the brickwork. After burying the masterpiece, the artist creates a new painting and successfully sells it to Porbus. Marianne breaks up with her jealous Nicholas and decides to start life with a clean slate, knowing that Edward hid the real work and slipped the buyer a pathetic fake. Thank you for watching.